Today I'm going to show you how to conceal yarn floats that are being carried up the sides of your work when you're striping between two different colours. So we have the blue here that's been finished off and we're going to carry that up the side of our work as we finish the end of the grey stripe. So when you're going to carry it, don't begin concealing it until after you've set up your stitch. So we've got our three loops on the hook for a US double crochet or UK treble. Now we'll snag the float of the carried yarn by folding it over the working yarn. Then we yarn over, pull through our two loops, then we fold it over again, yarn over and pull through two. And as you can see, the carried yarn is completely concealed within that last stitch on this side. And then on the back, you can see it a little bit, but it is caught into the stitch and it is a lot less visible than if we had just carried it up the side of the work without catching it at all. So it works really well. And now to begin the next row, which will be a, a chain three, a turning chain. And you can do this as many times as you need for the beginning of a row. You simply complete the follow, repeat is the word I'm looking for, the folding over, chain through with your working yarn, fold over the carried yarn, chain with your working yarn, fold it over again, oops, it's getting caught up, chain again with the working yarn, it's snagged in there so it's less visible because it's covered a little bit and then flipping it over you can see on the other side it's concealed completely. So it's a really good method for helping hide the floats. Um, obviously with highly contrasting yarn, you are going to still see it a little bit, but it makes a big difference. For example, here's a sample of my sway shawl. So you can see where I've carried the floats without concealing them across the narrow stripes. Now they're not too visible, but yes, they are still there. But if you have a look at this sample of the intermission shawl, you can see here, even with a very high contrast here, you're only seeing tiny little blips of the carried yarn on this side and virtually none of it at all on this side. So it makes a big difference in uh, how visible the carried floats are. And of course, this stops you having to weave in uh, as many ends at the end of your work because you can just continue using a colour until you run out and you can carry it over as many stripes as it lasts. So it makes uh, completing your project at the end a lot more enjoyable without having as many ends to weave in. So I hope you enjoyed that and you can put it to use with all your striped projects. Thanks.